welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.14 of chapter 2 and the statement of it is if s is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and a equal to 0 2 4 6 8 i mean all the even numbers from 0 to 9 and b is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 all the odd numbers from 0 to 9 c equal to 2 3 4 5 and d is equal to 1 6 7 list the elements of the sets corresponding to the following events okay so these are different events given as part a b c d e and f and here we have to fulfill the requirements of them okay so let us first talk about part a of my question so this is solution and here part a of my question is i have to write a union c we have all the elements of a which are here and all the elements of c which are here so let me first write this is a union c which will be what let me write all the elements of a which are 0 2 4 6 8 okay union all the elements of c which are 2 3 4 5 so 2 three four five okay so the output of it would be what i have to write them all in union but the items shouldn't be repeated because in a set no item should repeat itself okay so therefore it would be zero two because two is repeated in both of them so it will be written only once two three is available here so it will be three four is available in both of them so it will also be here four so now here five okay because it is in set c now six it is here and the last one here is eight okay so this is what this is the solution of part a of my question similarly for part b we have to find a intersection b for a intersection b let me write all the values of a and b so a is what zero two four six and eight okay you can see that this is a and b is one three five seven nine intersection one three five seven nine okay you can see that what is intersection in intersection i have to write all the elements which are available in both of the sets so you can see that there is no element here which is simultaneous lie in set a and set b so therefore it is a empty set or we can also write it like this one as well okay so this is the symbol of the empty set this is phi for use for the empty set this is the solution of b now let us move to c let me solve it here and this is c complement so what is c complement in c complement i have to write all the elements of s and i have to subtract all the elements from it which are available in c just like in intersection what do we do we have to write all the elements which are simultaneously available in both of the sets i have to write the combined elements while in complement i have to remove the combined elements and i have to just write the remaining items okay so here s is what let me write first s so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay this is here and uh, the elements of c are what these are c is let me write it here this is two three four five okay so, or i have to subtract this one from it so what will happen let me remove all the items from s which are available in c so this is two two is removed three is removed four is removed five is removed okay so now the remaining items here are what so these are let me write them it is zero okay then six seven eight and nine and this is what this is called c complement okay so this is the solution for part c of my question for part d i have to write c complement intersection d union b okay so i have to find c complement intersection d okay and then i have to write union b okay so let me first find this one 
and it would be what let me find it out so c intersection d is c complement intersection d is so first let me write this c intersection which is 0 6 7 8 and 9 and intersection with what intersection with d so d is 167 so 1 6 7 okay so here c complement intersection d would be what let me find all the elements which are available in both of them and this is what this is 6 and 7 because these are available in both of them so 6 and 7 now let me find out c complement intersection d and with it i have to write union b okay do i know the value of it yes it is already available and that is 6 7 with it i have to write the elements of b so which are 1 3 5 7 9 okay so therefore combining both of them what i what i will get it would be 1 3 5 6 because it is available here 6 now see it is repeating itself so it will be written only once here 7 and then 9 this is what this is the solution of the what part d of my question this was for part c this was for part b and this was for part a of my question here i have written all those solutions let me also solve here part e okay so in part e i have to find out what s intersection c whole complement so here by using the de morgan's theorem what i can write here is that i can also write it here s complement union c complement because in de morgan's theorem it is written that a intersection b whole complement is equal to the a complement union b complement or if we have a union b whole complement so this is a complement intersection b complement okay so here it is we have so what is s complement this is s minus s union this is c complement so this is s minus c so from here what will i get from here we will get the phi okay and from here this is c complement so the elements here we have this is the empty set union the c complement so the answer of it is c complement while the c complement is already calculated and this is here so the answer of it would be 0 6 7 8 and 9 okay so this is what this is the solution for part e of my question okay the last part here is part f here we have to find a intersection c first you have to find it out so let me move down somehow okay so this is f and i have to find a intersection c intersection d complement okay so let me first find out a intersection c a intersection c okay so a is what let me write all the values of a so a is 0 2 4 6 and 8 okay and intersection with c and the values of c are 2 3 4 5 okay so let me write the intersection all the elements which are common in between them so the first common is this 2 the second one is this 4 okay while the other one is not available because all other elements are not available here so the a intersection is what that is 2 and 4 okay this is a intersection c now for a intersection c intersection d complement what is d complement equal to d complement is s minus d so what is s this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay while d is equal to what let me move here and see that what is d equal to d is 
1, 6, and 7. Okay. So D is 1, 6, and 7. Okay. So let me remove all the items which are here. So this is here. 6 is also here, 7 is also here, and the remaining items here are what? Remaining items are 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 9. Okay, 8 and 9. Okay, so this is what this is the D complement. Now let us get back to our own question which is this one so a intersection c is what that is already calculated and it is here this is here so this is two four okay and intersection what intersection d complement so d complement is here and this is this one okay so here zero two three four five 8 and 9 okay now we can see that in calculating the complement of them we can very easily see that this item is also available here while this 4 is also available here as well so therefore the answer of it is what it would be 2 4 as well okay so the answer of it is 2 okay so that is what that is the solution of part f of my question so uh, that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 2.14 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon